We're going to take a look at Adobe Spark Pages, and Page is one of three tools that Adobe Spark offers online, and this tool is great for creating stunning layouts. Uh, so we'll just jump into it. As you create your first page, it uh, wants you to start by adding a title and a background image if you want one. So I'm just going to start by putting in a background image, a uh, fairly simple menu. I can upload from any of these tools if I have accounts there or I can upload from my computer. I already have a folder on my desktop ready to go so I'm going to grab this uh, picture here. pops it in very quick. Uh, I can start typing my title. Let's do summer 2016. Uh, subtitle how about the best ever. I have my title and ready to go. As I scroll down I get this plus sign. It's wanting me to add content uh, below this picture. So I hit plus and I've got several options. Uh, we'll start here with photo and we'll, we'll work our way left or right, sorry. Uh, click on photo again, very similar uh, options, upload, and I'm gonna bring in this picture of my daughter because it cracks me up. And it drops this uh, picture in, but you can see it's in the wrong orientation. Adobe Spark is actually going to fix that for me. It analyzes the picture. It takes a little bit, um, but it's going to flip that orientation. There we go. And so, you, again, I, I'm up the top. As I scroll, this is what it's going to start to look like. Um, I can leave a full size like this, or I can click, and I've got several options to work with. I'm going to click fill screen because I think it's going to create a pretty funny effect. Um, you know, as I scroll, here's her big old cheesy grin in those sunglasses. Um, I can add a caption, um, rockin' daddy's glasses at lunch. That's just perfect for Emma. And so I've, I've got my picture in there. I can move that text box around. I can, you know, mess with the picture differently, but you can explore that. So moving on to the next tool is text. When I click on text, no real surprise. Uh, it's a simple text editor. I already have some text ready to go, so I'm just going to copy it real quick. Um, try and save some time so paste it in there so you can see what it kind of looks like now it looks like it chops you know the picture but again it's just the effect that it's going to create so I'm scrolling down the page and it's really quite dynamic and nice looking with not a whole lot of effort on my part uh, looking at the next cool tool you can put in a button um, as you type in the button text it's going to change it right here for you and you can put in the URL you can even adjust where you want that button in your page uh, for what I'm putting together right here, it's not really going to fit, so I'm not going to use it, but it's fairly easy to put in. Um, the next tool is video. Uh, when you want to uh, put in a video, it's going to want a link from YouTube, Vimeo, or even their Spark library. Uh, I have a video here ready to go, so I'm going to copy that, um, paste it in here, and click Save, and watch how fast this comes in. Boom, video ready to go. Uh, the next tool is a photo grid. This is another easy one. What it wants, it wants me to drag or put photos in over here on the left hand side and I can, I'll be able to rearrange them how I want. So I'm going to upload photos again. I'm going to grab some of these different ones. Adam and I at the game. There, this one. And hit open. It's going to bring in all three at once. And again, the orientations are all kind of messed up. But Adobe Spark is going to look at this fix the orientations, and then also start to create some sample layouts that I can start to go through by clicking any of these any of these arrows. Like this one's kind of cutting her off, so I'm just going to choose a different layout. There we go, and it kind of fixes. Again, not a lot of work on my part. I like it. Perfect. Hit save, and I'm moving on. So again, back to the top, scrolling down. Very easy, very neat looking stuff. Um, I can then look at the last one, a glide show, and I really like these. Um, I can show you how this works, but this tutorial right here does a very good job, so I'm just going to talk over the top of it. So what you do with a glide show is you put in background images, and then on each background image you get this text box feature that you can fill with all sorts of different content text, video, pictures, doesn't matter. Then as you scroll, you can see those big text boxes are just scrolling over the background images. So it creates that dual picture sort of effect and it's really nice looking when it's done and fairly easy to put together. So those are you know some of the tools in Adobe Spark. So when you put it together, it's very nice looking. If you want to see a real preview, just click preview. It's going to give you an idea of what it's going to look like. When you're done with a project, you can share it out easily by going to the share button. It does want you to pick a category, so you can pick one. I'm just going to do travel for this one. Why not? Um, and I'm going to create a link. And 
Uh, it takes a little bit, but then it gives me this link here. So with that link, I can put it essentially anywhere. 